Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. I'm Patrice and today's video is going to be a sublimation haul dedicated to the Dollar Tree and Christmas. All right y'all, so I was inside a Dollar Tree and of course I'm always looking for items to craft with and Dollar Tree has added so many items to their crafters corner and I am always going in there to see what new products they have especially the wood for my Glowforge but today's video is not about Belle it is about sublimation and we are going to look at a few holiday items that I picked up at the Dollar Tree and we are going to test these items out to see if they can be subbed on. If they can, they will make great personalized gifts that you can give away and or use for a little bit of home decor. So let's see what all we picked up. So I saw these ornaments and I was just wondering if we could possibly put the year on these ornaments and that way they can be like a keepsake ornament that you can either hang on your tree or you can even give away. So we are going to test only one of these out. They had a mitten, they had a hat, and I think they had a stocking, which is probably in one of these bags. And we are only going to test out one of these items. I'm not sure exactly what's on the inside of these ornaments, maybe some hard foam, but we are going to test it out. Then they had this felt. And I picked this up from the Crafter Square, and we are going to test out this white piece of felt to see how it subs, and maybe see about putting something together to possibly make some table settings. All right, and what's Christmas without Christmas stockings and hats? Of course, the Dollar Tree always has these around this time of the year, and so I am going to personalize this stocking and this hat for decor inside of my classroom. They also had these wine bottle bags and look how cute with this buffalo plaid print. Of course, you can't sub onto these, but you could possibly do some HTV and or some rhinestones. I may try that out for these, but not for this video. This video is going to be 100% sublimation. So we are going to test this out and see how it goes. Of course they have these little stockings. I'm going to use these around my class. I will not be subbing onto these today though. And then I wanna try this bag. I've seen these several times inside of Dollar Tree in the Crafter Square, but I've never picked one up to try and sub it. We are going to try today and see what happens. Is it going to sub or melt? Which one? We'll see. And then y'all, they had these doormats and they say that they're 100% polyester. We are going to test it out and see. I am just going to personalize these. I am going to put my family name on there. And then they also had this doormat. So you can put your family name or a cute saying or something on here, this one can get a saying. This one already has Santa stops here. So I may have, I may put just my family name on this one. All right, so next we have these elves and Dollar Tree sells elves in different shades. So that's pretty cool. I usually put HTV onto these, usually for my class. But this year I'm going to try and use a little bit of sublimation onto maybe the skirt or the top for the female elf. All right, and then they have inside of the Crafter Square, they have these aprons, and I believe these are children's aprons. It does not necessarily say that they're for children, but we are going to test these out. These can make great personalized gifts around the holidays for baking and that sort of thing, or painting. It doesn't have to be baking, it could be painting. So we're gonna test this out. Um, I do believe that this is polyester, but we are going to make sure that we protect this heat press so that it does not melt on air. All right, y'all, and then finally, we have all of these pot holders and towels. So I wanna try to make a set. I know that these are a little bit darker. It comes in this nice uh, blue teal color, red. They have, this is 
looks either navy blue or black, but these are 100% polyester, so I want to test it out. Of course, I'm going to have to use a darker color for these, but I want to test them out and maybe make some gift sets for some of my fellow teachers and also include a towel. Maybe we can personalize the towel or put something on the towel. Now, you can also use HTV onto these. Also, I've used HTV and have had great success with these. However, I do want to test this out and see about subbing onto them. All right, y'all. So that is it. I have already printed out the images that we will be using for these items. So all you got to do is head over to the heat press and get started. So we're under the heat press and we are starting with our e.l.f. I am pressing everything at 375 degrees for 45 seconds. Some things I may fluctuate a little bit, but that is going to be my pressing temp and time. And we are getting started. So let's see how this e.l.f. is going to turn out. And oh, it looks like everything is fine. No melting. And that ink transferred nicely onto our elf. Okay, so next is this apron, and we are just simply putting this name on the apron, and I'm choosing to use black because I'm not sure if any other color will take. So let's get ready and press this and see our outcome. doesn't look like it's stuck came off just fine and yes so these could be good for Christmas parties or other parties where you can give a personalized apron and this came from the Dollar Tree all right so next we are going to test out this wine bag and look how cute I love this buffalo print and so we are just gonna put a saying right here at the top. All right, let's see. Nothing melted. And so that looks very, very nice. I could have did it in red, huh? I think red would have looked really, really good with it. Let's make sure we can still open it. And you may want to put some Teflon inside because the middle part did stick together. So that would be the only thing that I would suggest for you guys to do is put a little bit of Teflon inside. It subs pretty decent, right? But you may want to just have some Teflon inside because if not, you're going to fry it. All right, y'all. So now I'm about to test this image out and we are going to see if this subs or if it sticks. And you want to always make sure you protect your heat press. All right, oh, it looked like it's stuck. Let's see, yep, this one's stuck. So maybe, I would say maybe some Teflon might work with it, but I don't know. Just going to try it. All right, so next we are about to test out the hat and the stocking. First, we'll start with the stocking. And this too, you want to just check out that material inside because um, it's possible it's a similar material like the wine bag so we don't want to put the entire stocking underneath and I'm also going to stuff it with a little bit of Teflon. Definitely don't want this underneath there. And 
we're having to put a little pom poms. So I did not look at that part. But other than that, guess what, y'all? Other than that, this subbed pretty good, right? You can just fluff it up. But that Miss Wilson came out very, very vibrant on here and it opened up. So I don't know if you need the Teflon sheet inside, but I would definitely keep it inside. So next is our ornament and I already have our image taped onto it. I would suggest using a Cricut Mini Press or Easy Press to sub onto this as I'm not really sure what's on the inside and this item is pretty thick. So I don't want to clamp down on this with the press. All right, but these are reversible sequins and it's possible that that can be subbed onto as well. We are not going to be subbing onto that. All right, let's see. I felt it kind of melting a bit and it was actually melting, y'all. So you don't want to even really press that with anything like this type of heat press, but it does suck. That top part does suck. So I would just suggest using your Cricut Mini Press, okay? Just to get that done. It doesn't take that long. Honestly, this subbed in like 20 seconds, okay? But that's still pretty cute. You can put like a name on it or so, but you don't want to have this under the heat too much because it did start whatever material this is under here, you can feel it start to melt. So next we are going to sub this image onto our towel and see how this looks onto this red. Now you can also do something like this with HTV, but we are going to test this out with sublimation. And so I am just going to right here I am going to cover this part of my press because I don't want that red ink anywhere on the press so I'm just gonna press it right here Yeah, I just want you guys to see like the edges of the towel. You see how that red came off? So you definitely want to make sure that you have something on the press to kind of protect it from that. Of course I put it the wrong way, y'all. Of course. But this is how that black looks on to the red. All right, so next is this pot holder and the back has silicone, so that should not cause a problem for the press, but I am going to make sure that I have something underneath to protect it, and I am going to place this. Now you can, on these materials, it is common practice to go ahead and give your items a lint roll and also a pre-press, all right? But I am just going to place this here for the sake of time and testing, just to see how this works. Well, let's see, so that came off. That's flat as a pancake, but 
it is not melted. So we are going to remove and y'all, that looks so nice. You can even put a name on there or monogram or something. And then the inside is just perfect. And so you just want to let it cool off a bit. The back did not melt. And you can put your cookies, you can put cookies, a whisk or something like that inside of there. All right, so next we are going to press a piece of this felt. And it's pretty long, so we don't need the whole thing. And I'm just going to give it a nice little stretch just to make sure that it's nice and flat. All right, that's going to go there. Here is the design that we'll be using. And I'm just going to put it right here. All right, so let's see how this turned out. And remember, this is Dollar Tree felt. This came out pretty nice. I could definitely do a few of these as place settings. And I still, so maybe about, if I'm doing that size, it's 11 by 17, so maybe two per belt roll. Not bad for a dollar. All right, so finally, we are going to be pressing this doormat. And I'm just going to place a little bit under here. I'm not gonna put the whole thing under. I'm not sure how this is going to respond to the heat because the backing feels a little strange. Um, so I'm not sure. So I definitely wanna make sure my heat press is protected and I'm not gonna put the entire thing under there. I'm just going to put my name and let's make sure we put it the correct way so y'all know. It doesn't take much for me to get it wrong. And then I am going to put my butcher paper on top. And I'm actually going to give it another little piece of butcher paper. Over there. And we are going to press. All right, did anything stick yet? Nothing stuck from the top. So let's see, I should have put tape down just in case it didn't tape, but it did so. I probably could have applied a little more pressure. I was a little bit worried and it did not stick, but I would probably suggest, cause it feels like there's something on there to pre prevent slipping. So I would definitely suggest maybe putting a little Teflon in the back. But All right, y'all. So we are all done with testing out these items from the Dollar Tree. And y'all, I am pleasantly surprised. I have so many different gift ideas and decor ideas that I can't wait to implement at home and, of course, inside of my classroom. So some of this stuff that I've made today, I am definitely taking this right away to my classroom because Operation Christmas is in full effect inside of my classroom. So let's start out with the items that did not do so well for sublimation. So those bags that I thought would make great gift bags, yeah, no. Y'all, this is, there was nothing I could do to even salvage it or try to do anything with this. It is stuck onto this butcher paper. Now, would it work with Teflon? I don't know. That may be a lot of work to have to put Teflon on the back, Teflon on the inside, but I do want you to know that even the sublimation paper 
stuck onto there for the most part. Some of it came off, but it mostly stuck and yeah, you don't, it's not worth the headache. Then we had our wine bag and y'all, I'm actually pretty impressed with how this sub. So what I would suggest is putting Teflon in the middle of it because the material does feel a little bit funny on the inside of these bags. So you just want to put a little bit of Teflon on the inside when you press and don't press the entire bag underneath. Just press the part that you want to press. However, it subbed really good. All right, and the other almost fail was our ornament, but it actually came out really nice. You just want to use a mini press when pressing this because whatever is inside does start to melt. So I would suggest only pressing the top part and using something a little bit smaller. And you probably don't even need that much heat, okay? So I would maybe say maybe 365, 370, and pressing it for maybe 20, 25 seconds will, will be just, just fine for this. All right, next we had our stocking and we also had our hat. And I'm not really surprised that these worked. However, as y'all saw, I melted away that string. So be careful of anything that's on here. And also you want to make sure that you don't get this area because the little belt buckle is on there with glue. You all know that heat will melt the glue, but these came out really, really nicely. Next, we had our little elf and y'all, this was perfection. This subbed really, really nicely. And it's a cute keepsake. You can personalize it with the name, whatever it is that you want to do. If you're teaching younger students, this is great to give to them as little gifts. They are only a dollar and you can personalize these. You can even use HTV with these. Then we had these dollar aprons and these are great for art classes or baking or whatever it is that you want to do. But y'all, these subbed really, really good. That black looks really good on this red and you can definitely see it really well. So I'm really liking this. I think I'm gonna make these for all of the young people that I know. All right, then we had our pot holders and y'all, this subbed great. My plan is to put some cookie mix inside with maybe a little whisk and give these away as gifts. But aren't these so cute? And this black looks really good onto this red. I was worried that this red may be too dark and the black you wouldn't really be able to see it, but you can definitely see it. Then we had our towel. And remember these came in different colors. And so for the most part, those colors are kind of dark. So I would only use the black ink on those but this still came out really good and you can definitely see, see it in that red. And you can give this away with the pot holder or you can make it for yourself. You can sell them, you can create little packages and sell them. So for a dollar, you can't really beat that. And y'all look at this felt. So if you like to make place settings or even use, you can use this around the house for just regular decor. You can definitely sub onto the felt from the Dollar Tree. This is the white felt. They had black and red. And y'all, what if I layered this with the red or the black? That would be so nice if I had another piece of felt, maybe cut this a little bit more and then put the felt, the solid color felt behind it. That would be really, really nice. But this felt subs beautifully. All right, so finally we have this mat. And I had no faith in this mat, y'all, but guess what? It subbed and it came out really, really nice. So you can make this for yourself, you can give it away as a gift, or you can even sell these. These are only a dollar, everything was a dollar. So I would definitely, definitely probably sub more. I think I'm gonna make my grandma one for her door. I like these.
So that's it for today's Dollar Tree haul. And y'all, I'm pretty impressed with how everything turned out. I can use these items for myself, for gifts, to sell as holiday decor. There's so many ways that I can use these items from the Dollar Tree that we were able to sub on. So I am super excited about that. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. In addition, head over to Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok and join us there as well. But that's it for today, y'all. Thank you all so much for watching. Until next time.